The 17 year locusts, or actually 17 year cicadas, have returned here to where I live in western Pennsylvania. And for those of you who have not uh, experienced the sound of the cicadas because they're not out in mass where you live like they are here, I thought I'd give you that opportunity here over the internet and also the opportunity to think about and experience the cicadas and their sound as a healing from nature, as a vibrational healing from nature. So I'm in the house right now with the camera pointed towards the back door and now I'm going to walk out the door so that you can hear this sound. And the air is full of cicadas, they're flying everywhere. The trees are full of them. They're a little past their peak now that they were last week. They've spent 17 years in the ground waiting to come out to mate, lay their eggs, and die. And if you consider the sound for its vibration, and the fact that all sounds in nature are integral parts of the whole, you may realize that that vibration is part of the symphony of life. And I know some people are grossed out by the cicadas. They think they're ugly or creepy. But they serve their purpose, certainly, in the universe. And if you listen closely, you might hear an ooh, ooh sound. That's individual cicadas making their call. The males have special organs on the sides of their bodies that cause that vibration. And you may also notice a slight pulsation, almost like a wave, a slow pulsation wave to the overall sound. And when I think about my experiences of going to gong healings, and I've posted some gong healing videos on the internet, the vibration, the sound varies, and it makes especially when it's this loud, it's, it's overwhelming to our minds. It's hard for our minds to compete with a sound like this. And so it has to let go. And when our minds let go is when healing can occur. I'm going to take a walk down the steps over here past my oak tree. As I said, there's the cicadas have waited in the ground to come out for 17 years. They're an example of patience. They're an example of perseverance in that they've survived underground all that time and finally dig their way out. And as I get closer to my ash tree, this one just landed on me. The camera doesn't want to focus that close on the ash tree.
I found myself wondering, with so many of these cicadas out and flying everywhere, does anything eat them? And what I discovered was, everything eats them. The birds, the raccoons, other mammals, cicada killer wasps. And their strategy as a species, their survival strategy, is they just come out in such massive numbers all at once that the predators can't eat every one of them. The predators get to a place of total satiation. <laughs> they eat until they're stupid full. But there's still more cicadas left. To mate. To carry on the species. They're a reminder to us of the balance of nature, the abundance of nature that's here for all of us. They're a reminder to persevere on our own path. They're also about sexuality. They've spent 17 years in the ground waiting to exercise their sexual energy, the creative force of the universe, to come out and mate, to procreate. Let's see if we can use the camera zoom a little bit. Or just get in close. You may be able to hear they make different sounds. They make a clicking noise, a buzzing sound, and that <laughs> And I've been some places not that far from where I live, where there isn't a cicada in sight, there isn't a sound at all. But here where I am in western Pennsylvania, almost to the border with West Virginia, they are out in tremendous abundance. And I also remember other times in my life when I saw the cicadas 17 years ago, 17 years before that. 17 years before that and how I have persevered in life, how my life has changed how my own personal vibration has shifted 
how I've learned to sing my own song. All my ups and downs with sexuality, with relationships, with creativity, changing from cycle to cycle. Naturalists have studied vibrational healing and the effects of sound in nature. They found that bird songs, the calls of birds, helped flowers to bloom. The sound, the vibration of birds' voices, their singing, helps flowers to bloom. There's my big orange tabby, big head adding his voice. So viewers, I thank you for watching. I thank the cicadas for coming and bringing their voice, their vibration, their healing energy. All of nature is here for us to learn from, to heal with. not to commodify, abuse, or destroy. 
but to participate with in reciprocal relationship. And I hope that you've maybe learned a little something and felt a slight shift, a slight opening, a new perspective from the sound of the cicadas.